Hello, I'm Julia from Crafters Companion. I'm here today to show you um, a quick card to use the stamp and die subscription box, which is box number three. We're going to make this beautiful card with the rose on and we are using elements that have come from the box. So we're going to start with the stamping first. So we've got our beautiful sheet of stamps here with the rose stamp on. And we take that off and stick it onto our rocker block. And I'm going to be using some of our marvellous waterproof dye ink pad in black. So just ink that up, making sure there's plenty of ink on it. And I've got my red card from the pack and we rock from heel to toe and we get that. We also want to then do some of the leaves that go with it. So take that off and do exactly the same again onto your rocker block, ink it up Oops. and again we've got your lovely leaves printed out there. Okay, so now we're going to um, cut our images out. So I need to line up my rose die over the stamped image there. I'm just going to use a little bit of tape just to keep it in place. I'll pop it onto my Gemini mat. And the same with the leaves. And you're just eyeballing it to make sure everything's in the right place. And then we can run them both through our Gemini machine. So that's cut nicely. Oops, and that too. So you need five of these for your rows and two of your leaves. So now we're going to take my ink and just lightly go around the edge of the card just to give it a border. It doesn't matter if it's not smooth, it just adds to the look, makes it look a bit more distressed. The same with the piece of card that I took out of the kit. There's a few different designs, but this one is lovely to make up this little card with. So it's just to make it stand out a bit more on the back of the card there. Put them to one side. So next, we are going to make up one of the roses. So we've got some bits here that were previously cut out. And you're going to need to cut one of the petals to make it a four petal flower on that part. One of the other ones, you take two of the petals out, leaving three. And then of course you've got remaining the two that you took from that one and the one that you took from that one. And then we're going to take our lovely smooth pad and use our ball tool to just make your flower, give it some nice impressions and make it look a bit more realistic and some so it's just going onto the back and then you can always press it in the middle like so and that just helps it to sort of spring up a little bit. So we've done that with all of our little pieces very centerpiece has just been curled in so just using a pokey tool something like that you're just going to wind it around your pokey tool and then let go and you come out with something that looks like that and similarly with your two petal one as well which is the same 
that's just going to be the centre of your rose. So I'm going to take some Kalal glue gel, put quite a big dollop in the middle and stick your next layer over the top. Each time putting a nice big blob of glue Third one, you're going to wrap it round like that so they're slightly overlapping. Oops. You can see it's coming together really easily. It's looking like a flower now. On the bottom and then finally that bit goes in the middle there's probably enough gel in there but I'll put a little bit on just in case and it just gives the whole flower movement and definition And you can tweak it to how you like it. I'm quite fussy with flowers. I like them to look like flowers. So that's the flower all put together there. That's it. That's better. I like that better. So that's your rose. And you're also going to need two of your leaves there. So we'll use a little bit of our color glue. Pop your card onto the card base. And then I'm going to use my 3D glue gel again. Just to... I need a lot more than that. big blob onto the back of it and then you can just slot your leaves in at the back like so and then we've got a little piece of card there and we're going to use the sentiment off the stamp sheet Attaching it to your rocker block again. And make sure it's the right way up. So just position it over the top and rock. That will then stick onto the mat I've made. Because you've used your 3D glue gel, you can move this around to get it into the right position until you're happy with where it's all at. And that's your first little card made up. <laughs> 